first off, let's, let's social security works. It's been there through wars, through recessions, through stock market uh, dips. It works. It's important. It's a promise that needs to be kept. That's how, first off, I look at this. In terms of solvency, we have a, uh, a, a cap at 118,500 people stop paying Social Security. Um, I believe that's unfair. Somebody making a quarter million or a half million or a million dollars no longer pays after that 118.5 into the Social Security system. I just think that's unfair. Somebody working at Target or at the local sandwich shop or you know somebody who's working on the line somewhere is paying into it, getting the benefit. Well, these folks making a quarter million, a half million, a million, they're, they'll be getting the benefit. Why are they not paying into it? I believe it's, a, it's just a pure, simple matter of fairness. Now, if you were to do that, lift that cap off at 118.5, you would ensure that Social Security would remain solvent for 50 more years. Even Jack Bergman has agreed to this, and Hancock, a couple, about a month ago, said that he would be in support of lifting the cap. Why, then, do people want to take our Social Security and send it off to Wall Street? Jack calls it personalizing it. Well, it's another word. It's privatizing it. He said that in Alpena, very directly to camera, reform or privatize, the answer privatize. Why? Because there are billions of dollars at stake in commissions and fees for stockbrokers and banks. We have an answer. Let's make it fair. Let's make sure that promise is kept. Thank you.